Okay, here we are. Beautiful entryway, high ceilings. We will turn some lights on as we come through, but it's so nice to walk in and not hit right into your steps. Right here to your right, I'm assuming is gonna be your dining room. We'll get the layout as we walk through. You have a coat closet right here as you walk in. Two door coat closet. And this is probably your garage. No, this is your powder room. Beautiful. Simple. Everything looks very streamlined and clean. Uh, you have two windows here, a little loft area for a little Christmas tree up there. You have the spindles, they're iron spindles. Just taking some notes of things when I look, I will point out if I see anything. Looks like they've done some new painting along. If I get in real close, you can see what I'm talking about. See how there's just a little bit of the painting. Just little things that I try to notice. And let's turn some lights on as we go. Oh, beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at the barn, barn door here for a pantry. Now that's a pantry. Beautiful. And you have your kitchen. This has a ton of space. It looks like the light too. Uh, they had probably a TV here. Beautiful fireplace. They accent. Let's see if we can turn some lights on here. There's a lot of light switches. We're gonna have to find all those. This is a stunning home. Very impressed. I love how they have the built-ins on this side for the TV to allow your mantle here. The beautiful hardwood floors, windows in the back. And then this is a textured wallpaper. So it gives a really fun, cool look with brick, but it's not. It's the wallpaper. And then you have backsplash, kitchen. Let's take a look here. This will be, look at the cute barn doors. This house has some really nice features. They um, obviously have done their own customization. I'm not sure if you guys have your dog or not, but if you do have a dog, this allows you to keep the pup in here and this open, you can still hear them. If you saw it, I was pointing out the two doors. Your laundry, nice deep laundry. You can put built-ins here for like a mud area for your shoes. And that must be what we sell outside. Two-car garage, nice deep two-car garage. And yeah, this must be that little outside area that I thought maybe had a more storage and it does. You could put storage in here, but this would be your laundry space. I will do a couple videos today just because they upload a little nicer. Um, but this is the first floor, so we're going to come around the corner from the kitchen. This would be like a flex room. It could be a dining room, could be a formal sitting room. Uh, and then this would be another flex room, so this could be... An office area if you wanted to set it up, another formal living room. Usually a dining room would not have the carpet, but I'm assuming that's what this was originally set up as. But you have enough space here in this kitchen area. I mean, this the um, breakfast nook area, as we call that, is huge. I mean, you could put an easy a hutch in here, eight-foot table, you have plenty of room. The appliances are all newer, it looks like, stainless steel. And then we're going to take a little walk upstairs. When you're building homes like this, these are usually upgrades to have the, the cast iron. And man, they did a beautiful job with just the detail, having the railings up here. Nice to have a lot of loft space when you come up. You're not walking right into a bedroom. So this is great, especially for moving furniture. Some things that people don't always think about. Um, you could put a desk up here, a little chair. You have a nice deep linen closet here. But great loft space. Take a little right here. And get some lights on. And here again we have some fun wallpaper. Carpet is in fair shape. That would be something I would probably recommend doesn't need replaced, but it's definitely been lived in. I'm not having, I don't have any smell. There's no smells that I can note here. There's two closets. Beautiful. And then 
Might be a master bath or there might be another bath on the other side. Beautiful updates here. Nice shower, little soaking jet tub. A lot of space, a lot of space. They've done this right. This is a very well-maintained home. You can tell they put the detail, like even the backsplash behind. Very nice. Like I said, the carpet does look worn. That, that would be something I would say. Get that removed or replaced. Let's check out this one. A little smaller of a room, so this would be an extra bedroom here. Closet's nice space. Probably one of the smaller of all the bedrooms upstairs. Maybe a nine by 11, eh, 10 by 11-ish. Let's see what we have. Whoop, trying to find all the lights, friends. And now here you have your other bath. This is your hall bath, spare bath. So that would have been the master I showed you originally. And then this is your other bathroom upstairs. Again, home very clean, very straight lined. I'm not seeing anything that concerns me. Doesn't have like a plug-in or potpourri smell, which usually to me means they're trying to cover something up. And these are really nice size bedrooms. This is a very nice size bedroom. Beautiful, nice space. Another deep closet. Um, this one's probably a 14 by 11 or so, 14 by 12. I'm sure they might even be on the listing the size of the bedrooms. Look at that, reminds me of like ocean waves. Another beautiful size bedroom. And then there's your closets, the same as the other ones. Sorry friends, I hit pause. Did we open this closet? Another linen closet. It looks like attic access, so I'm assuming this is just the access to the attic. It's probably not used for storage. Typically, if they're used for storage, you see the pull-down ladder with them. Whoops, turn the lights off. And we're gonna head down to the basement. Okay, I turned some lights off upstairs. I love the staircase. I love how they have this laid out. Let's check out what's going on in the basement. I mean, this home is really moving ready. So, unfinished it looks like. Unless they just didn't like their carpet, right? <laughs> no, it's an unfinished basement. I have a feeling this is gonna be massive because the house is massive. Yep, it's massive. <laughs> So already insulated, it needs flooring and drywall. Um, wow, very clean, very clean. Here's your electric panel. Uh, clean, not in just like, um, you know, broom, like dustpan clean swept, but uh, just, wow, it's well maintained. I'm not seeing any stains. We have some dirt here maybe, let's see, yes. So, not sure what they were moving. I'm wondering, my thinking would be maybe they were moving some furniture or something in and out of here. Because there's definitely dirt of some sort all through here. Now, it doesn't look wet. I don't see anything that would tell me this was wet. Um, so, I'm guessing, I would assume maybe they were moving items that were stored down here through this basement. That's what I would assume. I will definitely ask because you can even see the different tint of dirt down here. So what were they doing? I don't know. Uh, they were definitely moving something from down here because it's dirt. A uh, huge basement though. This could be a bar, another bedroom. Uh, I'm assuming right there is your rough-ins. Yep. So this is your rough-ins for your bath. Huge bonus to have this plumbing down here. Uh, in case you want to put a bath, you don't have to upset your concrete. It's already installed. Um, that's an upgrade when you build. It's additional. They do have the eco-friendly water, so it's not copper. It's the blue and red. It's just the flexible water piping. It's supposed to be more you know, economically efficient and I, I don't know, all the fun stuff. It's just not any type of metal system or copper. It's flex tube. This is... A very well-maintained basement and home. Okay, friends, so that's the tour of 109 Hidden uh, Hidden Cliff. I'm very impressed with the house. I think that it's very clean. The value's there. It's been on the market a little bit. Might have a little wiggle room with price. 
it's moving ready. It's absolutely moving ready. The only thing I would ask is the sellers about what's going on with the dirt down there in the basement. Um, aside from that, very impressive home. Uh, and it has some real fun texture and taste. Oh, we didn't finish outside. Let's take a look out there. <sighs> this has turned into a long video, friends. I apologize. Let's see. Okay, sometimes you have to be smarter than the doors. Sorry, it took me a minute to be out the door. Well, here's a nice surprise. Beautiful patio. You are fenced all the way around privacy on this side with the trees. What a beautiful space. Goodness, I might buy this one if you friends don't. Um, landscaping, mature but maintained. Your patio goes all the way around. You can put a fire pit over here. And then you still have a ton of yard on that side. That's why I showed you earlier the trampoline and the swing set. It's a beautiful home. I don't see anything here that would concern me with any type of water, the way the landscape fits. Everything's fairly flat, some rolling, but I mean, there's no major hills behind you or hills going into your house. This is your side. Beautiful home. Okay, on to the next one.